Drive Time Radio. Again, will you just want a ticket to go to Miami? And now you're coming back from that show that you have won. The place where you won the ticket. <laughs> okay. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just, I'm done. There is sound. Okay, I, for a second I was wondering if there's no sound. Because I didn't hear nothing. It's a narrative game. Is that Lambo? I like the car. Chill! I can't move, there's a goddamn truck in front! Big enough. Oh, that's a quick change. Tesla? And that Maybe was Tesla. the Degs with their debut hit, I'll Know. You can catch them l -l 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 live at the Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout. I'll be there all weekend long with our coverage of the festivities. What about you, Brett? Are you asking me if I'm gonna miss the Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout? Not on your life, Bucko. You can bet I'll be there. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to... WWKCR. The one and only midnight show in the eternal void between physical dimensions. We're going to be with you all night long, so get comfortable. Hey, but not too comfortable. Oh, now, if you're a new listener, move. or you've been trapped here so long you've succumbed to madness, here's the shakedown. One lucky caller will get the chance to answer our <laughs> terrifying questions. So you're competing with other people. Answer them correctly ticket, and win okay. prizes. Including tonight's grand prize, VIP weekend, platinum pass, all access, batch stage, celebrity experience, premium tickets to the Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout. But if you ask for the questions that? incorrectly, like oh, crap. Line between the physical universe and the realm of unconscious thought, any and all legal rights to their consciousness have been waived by the Any premature forfeiture will result in immediate psychic mm. death. Any attempts to exit or stop the vehicle will result in immediate psychic death. Any attempts to call law enforcement or first responders will result in immediate psychic death. WKCR 92.3 waves any all legal liability to injury, distress, death. Yeah, yeah, all the legal stuff. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Cookies, I agree. Return to their original dimension with grand prize material, comprised of two XVIP weekend platinum pass, all access backstage celebrity experience premium tickets to the Beach of Spring Break Beach blowout, or equal remuneration of no more than 200 US dollars. All rights reserved. WKCR LLC. What? You don't know. Contestant on the line and kick things off. Hey there, Cola. You're on with Brett. And yep. Kyle. Excited to be here? Hell I'm yeah. To have you. And even more excited to get rid of these VIP tickets to the Beach Blues' Spring Break Beach Blowout. All you gotta do is answer a couple easy questions. And this time next week, you'll be sipping cocktails at the WKCR 92.3 VIP Beachside Bar and Grill. All right, let's get right into it. If you do lose, we will devour your consciousness and use it to expand our own otherworldly existence. But hey, that's the price of doing business. Me personally, I'm rooting for you, kiddo. Wait, metaphor, but okay. Uh, I don't like to play with my food as much as Kyle does. I'm going to be trying to kill you the whole time. Let's go. Really lame. Ah, you don't mind. For those cool, uh, sneaky little guy, I'll get you. But enough chit chat. Idea. Let's get to it. First question: What is the European name for soccer? That is absolutely correct. <laughs> I'm not good with quizzes. We always start these things off easy. So let's see if you can handle the next question. The twentieth president of the United States was. That's correct. President Garfield did love lasagna, though. <laughs> did he hate Mondays as well? Uh, no. He actually loved Mondays. Yeah, it is Sundays. He was a little piggy for Mondays. Okay, Come on, I'll learn the answer. I'll swing left to right. In the year 1875, the capital of... It's Mike! Ooh, nice reflexes, caller. <laughs> appreciate Hold it. Hold on, I'm gonna get you, though. Don't let me catch you. Seriously, yeah, Caller, do that. not let him catch you. Alright, Caller, this next one's a doozy, so hold on to your butt. You know Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, but who was the third crew member on the Apollo 11 mission? That is... Correct. <laughs> yes! For everyone listening, our producers have muted Brett's mic until he calms down about the moon landing. 
He'll run out of steam in a second, so let's move on. And that's round one complete with a perfect score. Who this caller wants those tickets real bad. Oh, I want them real bad. Oh, uh, you know, I probably want to live. Tell me about it, Brett. I only feel alive once a year when I'm in the mosh pit at Beachapalooza. I was thinking more in the immediate sense. What's the... Well, for that, they still need to survive round two. We've got round two coming up momentarily, but first, the weather. How's it looking out there, Brett? We're in a void of nothingness that's the void of substance, yet infinite in extent. Your surroundings are a product of your subconscious rationalizing the semiotic signals produced by our presence in this dimension. And just what does that mean for the weekend forecast, Brett? Well, we're gonna see scattered showers over the next few days, but nothing serious. Average 45 degrees getting warmer through the summer heat. Great to hear. Was he saying right, demigods so or something controlling the god of the universe? Round two. two. All you gotta do is answer at least one question right, and you're one step closer to those VIP weekend platinum pass all access backstage celebrity experience. I am the best of course of losers. This one is guessing. Blowouts. And yeah, if you don't, we're gonna harvest your subconscious for nightmares. For yeah, whatever, call, dude. I'm not scared. But hey, try not to think about it. Now, next question. What is the twelfth element on the periodic table? Uh, sorry, that's incorrect. Hey, no sweat on that one, Cola. We nah. can't understand it ourselves. I knew it's my I I I do brain so elements a sort of a strange concept. All right, caller, next question. The maximum size of a boat. Now I'm sorry, I got to interrupt. We have some breaking news coming in. Come on, dude, I want to get a ticket already. What's going on? Preliminary reports are coming in that a number of big spikes are ahead of you. Dude, what is this lame ass crap? Come on. Eyewitnesses are reporting a, a, a two or three more. Oh, this just did. I'm being told there's one more. Oh, come on, Owen. Hey, <laughs> asshole, stop! Last one. That concludes our news reports. What do we want to talk about? It was like a second earlier. The Battle of Hastings Later. took place earlier. on what? Later. Weekday. Uh, what week? Wait, what? I don't hear. What weekday was the Battle of Hastings? Uh, any minute I know, catch it uh, Wednesday. Oh, sorry, caller. The answer we were looking for was Saturday. Can you imagine trying to throw a battle on a Wednesday? It's already bad enough, especially with the wife trying to get you out of bed. Is she also a space monster, Brett? Yeah, she's also a space monster. I can't get what I'm wrong. How many questions is this? What five? key is Beethoven's fifth symphony in? What? What key is Beethoven's fifth symphony? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with... Uh, C! That's correct. Hey, Brad, hit us with a C minor. C, this is a C, C minor. That's in my brain muscles right there. Mwah. Ah, I suck a silly popped out. Well, well, well. That's another three questions and another round in the can. But how'd they do, Brett? That's the last question, I'm so lucky. Hey, quite frankly, anticlimactic one out of three. I'm not so sure that's enough to go all the way. What do you think, Brett? Hey, I don't know, Kyle, but it's better than nothing. Tell you what, caller. We'll leave it up to you. Do you think it's enough to keep going? That is. Absolutely correct. <laughs> yeah, oh, we yeah. love to see that type of confidence from our callers. It's delusional, but still, it's nice. It's not over yet, though, Brett. We've got one more round left, and some would say it's the most challenging. Those things are delusional. The most jaw dropping. Not this the most. Uh, a big, a deadly. That's right. It's the lightning round. We're gonna hit you with a series of rapid-fire questions, so stay on your toes. Yeah, I ain't gotta worry about it. Hit me up anytime you need anything. Round, because, oh, 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 am I about to go on wild spikes? Get ready. Here they come. What's the square root of 144? 
Who was the first pilot to circumnavigate the globe solo? I did not hit that. I don't care what you said. I did not hit that. Try again, yes. What? What is the square root of 144? 12 times 12. Fucking dumb, no fucking 12. Who was the first pilot to circumnavigate the globe solo? Fucking Czech Liberal. Which planet from the sun of your solar system is? Fucking Saturn. So far, we've gone easy on you, caller. You want those VIP weekend platinum packs? How much should I get right? Come on, I'm waiting for that. I don't care about the goddamn tickets. Premium tickets to the Beach Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout. You're gonna have to survive the real questions. I've just been Brandon. handed the real questions by our producer Paulie. Paulie? Off-site in an undisclosed location, under constant on guard in a climate-controlled, hermetically sealed environment. They're that hard. Damn. I'm a physicist. Stuff to claim, though. What is the city with the highest elevation on Earth? Name the inventor of the elevator. Fuck no. Uh, I'm gonna go with this Which of these is a type of cheese? Francis Lord, this is uh, uh, Francis. How many calories are in a gram of mayonnaise? This ethereal dimension is ruled over by what entity? Oh. This creature resides in the center of all entropy in the palace of... Oh! This guy. the top speed of a grizzly man? Is any of this actually happening? Are you sure? First Major League Baseball World Series was in what year? 1903. What is the answer to the first question we asked? Uh -oh. And that is it for the lightning round. What a rush. Honestly, Cola, you got real chops for surviving this far. A lot of times there I thought you were a goner. So many close scrapes. I'm no goner. They're not out of the woods yet, though. We still gotta tally up that score. Bear with us for a second. Alright, so if we carry one, What do you guys think? Five? Six? Yeah. I'm taking shoulder number three. Ah, oh, this got five of those, right? Three. Oh, no. Voice acting is real nice, though. Alright, caller. So, we got one of those good news, bad news situations. Good news is, you made it to the end. Congrats! Really? Just give yourself a real pat on the back. You did great, get them you know. Out of them. The bad news is, and caller, I gotta say, this is a real shame. But we won't be seeing you at this year's Beach Blues, a spring break beach blowout. Why? That means no VIP cocktail lounge. No all access pass all weekend long. No free refills in your choice of soda or other caffeinated beverage. That's why. See? You didn't quite make the cut. It was close, sure. Carried the ones. I've used my fingers. And you just got too many wrong. A damn shame, caller. But you did get farther than most people do. And I gotta say, you impressed us, kid. So we're gonna give you one last chance to win those tickets and get out of here. With just a chance. You did lose after all. Now, caller. What is the name of the Brett and Kyle show in our extraterrestrial language? Do I? Got that double guru? Oh, sorry, Cola. Oh my That's God. incorrect. Not so fast, Brett. You know our language is quantumly phonetic. By making a choice, the caller collapsed all possible choices into a single one, therefore providing the correct answer. Wait, so. Why he just said. won? That's right, caller. You won. <gasps> and that means. You and a lucky friend are going to the Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout! We're going. Those VIP tickets grant you all access all weekend long. That's unlimited access to the WKCR 92.3 Bar and Grill Boardwalk. That's front row oh seats at the Beach of Palooza main stage. And that's unlimited refills on your choice of soda or other caffeinated beverage. Also, if you bring us your ticket, we can validate your parking. 
No. We're not letting this one get away. Hell no. Brett, you know the rules. They won fair and square. They weren't supposed to win. We rigged this whole thing for a reason. <laughs> whoa, 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 Brett. Let's not throw words like rigged around, okay? <laughs> you rigged this whole thing? Everyone at WKCR 92.3 takes the rules very seriously. You try to cheat the system. I don't care about the rules. I don't care about fear. And I'm sick and tired of this radio show bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa Brett. You don't like the radio show bit? I, I thought we were having fun. I've never liked the radio show bit. Oh, I don't like this. You know, you, you can keep your ticket, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go. Caller, you enjoy those VIP tickets. Oh, no, you don't. It so belongs to me. Paulie, get in here and give me a hand. I'll give you the part of his brain that feels on I know that part's your thing. Polly signed a contract just like everyone else, Brent. He knows the rules of the Brent Kyle show. What rules? I don't know, All of this is just an amper more fine solution for your brain to make it easier. Liquefies you with brains. All the point here is just in mind. It's gonna rationalize our health. Whoa, 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 okay. Kyle, put down the mic stand. You know how much those things cost. Whack! Come and get it. Get it, get it. 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 No, I'm a dummy dumb. Damn I don't it, know. Brett. Hold on, caller. This is gonna get uh, messy. Just float it off. <laughs> no way. Why would you wanna eat me? My soul is not big and juicy. Ooh, this is the fourth dimension. I think. That are we just in some major ass drugs. Where the Himalayan ladies? I don't see no ladies for any. I came here because I don't want to get laid. I don't understand. That's not it. It said 20 minutes. Wait, I said, wait, that can't be. Nah, are you kidding me? No, you're joking. This is <laughs> it said twenty minutes. It's been twenty minutes that fast. No way. Has it been twenty minutes? I got no time here, so I don't know the sense of time. I don't see the clock. I don't know. It'd be twenty. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a great game. I like the the voicing. It reminds you of, um, um, it reminds, like, the, this type of game reminds me of, um, what game is it? It's, uh, I've got narration, but, oh, right, the Rick and Morty one. What that make Rick and Morty, not Rick and Morty, oh, fuck, I forgot. I'll pop it on right now, that game. The, the, the voice, like the, the, this game like, um, it was a manager of that for some reason, I don't know why. But either way, it's a good game, I like it. <laughs> 